In my view, this itinerary is a wonderful late summer holiday taking you from Venice to Athens, among the most beautiful places in the Adriatic, all the way into the Greek Isles. But it is, it is a way to explore some hidden gems as well as some of the well-known places. This itinerary would appeal to people who enjoy the arts, visiting archaeological sites, but also enjoy some magnificent scenic cruising. I think for many people the highlight, of course, will be the walled city of Dubrovnik. One of my favorite things to do just outside the city of Dubrovnik is to visit the tiny village of Stone. Once you visit the village, there are little boats available for you to rent and they will take you out into the lagoon where you can pick your own fresh oysters and then consume them on the boat with some bread and the wonderful Croatian wine. Two particular interesting shore excursions on this itinerary are, of course, being in Venice, I would highly recommend one of the evening gondola rides along the canals. In the port of Dubrovnik, we are able to introduce you to one of Croatia's famous artists. Antonia Rustakovic is well known for her bright, colorful paintings. And as she introduces her paintings and her style of painting to you, we also invite you to taste some of the local flavors, such as the wines and pastries. On this itinerary, I believe the hidden jewel is the island of Hydra. When I visit Hydra, I would stroll along on the waterfront until you reach one of the tavernas that is maybe a little bit further away from the harbor and enjoy a glass of the fabulous Greek wines. Our as amazing evening will take place in the wonderful medieval town of Dubrovnik. During the evening, take in the colorful costumes, folk dance performances, as well as enjoy the local food and drink. If you have time to spare, after this voyage, we have a wonderful nine-night cruise that takes you to such beautiful Greek islands as Patmos and Mykonos, but also takes in some of the wonderful, charming ports along the scenic Turkish turquoise coast.